top 10 examples of Mandela Effect. Would you believe us if we told you that the most iconic sentence from the 1980s sequel Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back was never spoken? Darth Vader does not tell Luke Skywalker that he is his father by saying, Luke, I am your father. No, I am your father, he truly says. This was a Mandela effect, which is when a group of people or a population all have the same recalls of a particular phenomenon, such as events, names and details, but they differ from the real thing. It's an intriguing theory that some paranormal experts mix with the parallel universes and the like. This list includes the top 10 examples of Mandela effects that have happened. Before exploring the list, welcome back to the channel. Please take a brief moment to go down and smash the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay connected with us. With apologies to conspiracy theorists, the concept of a shared false memory does not prove the existence of parallel realms. It merely is a result of how our brain processes information. We know that false memory emerges throughout the reconstructive process. When we recall an event, we use memories to frame it, incorporating elements or pieces of other events where they make sense. Take a look at 10 of the most common examples of things that people swear are genuine, but are actually the result of the brain's poor recall. Number 10, Berenstain Bears or Berenstain Bears. The Berenstain Bears, a successful children's book franchise, is perhaps one of Mandela's most well-known effects. The book series is fondly remembered by many children and it even spawned an animated TV show. However, many people refer it to Berenstain Bears rather than Berenstain. The title of the series has always been Berenstain Bears in the official records of the Library of Congress, attributed to the authors Stan and Jan Berenstain. This caused quite a fuss, as many fans claim to have known it as Steen rather than Stain. As the Mandela Effect gained prominence, images and antique relics portraying books written by Berenstein begin to appear. Are these artifacts from another dimension? Or how about Photoshop? Number 9. Oscar Mayer vs Oscar Mayer Oscar Mayer, an American meat company, has remained a pop culture fixture because of its recognised logo famed Wienermobile and various popular jingles. However, its name causes some confusion because many people recall Mayer, it's spelt with an E rather than an A. Old newspaper cuttings even spell it as Mayer. It is simply that the variant spelling is more frequent, resulting in misspellings. You would think it'd be impossible to get it wrong with one of its jingles having lyrics that practically spell out the company's name. However, Others claim that the lyrics have changed since they were younger. Number 8, Mirror on the Wall. The villainously vain queen in the early Disney animated film famously possesses a magic mirror. She calls it by saying, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Except, that's not the line from the Disney film. The queen states magic mirror on the wall in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is an odd situation because the original fairy tale had a same mirror mirror, but the Disney version does not. It's possible that people are confusing the fairy tale and the Disney blockbuster. Even still, it's strange that something as well known as beloved as Snow White isn't more remembered. Number 7. Curious George's Tale Curious George is a monkey who has appeared in many children's books and television shows. Given how long the character has been around, many people are shocked that he lacked a tail. George is after all a monkey, and most monkeys have tails. Apes in general do not, and Curious George is commonly referred to as a monkey. Is the Mandela effect caused by the two groups of monkeys mutual confusion? Or has reality modified the features of George's posterior? Whatever the case may be, we're eager to find out. Number 6. Mona Lisa's Smile the Mona Lisa is undoubtedly the most renowned painting in the world, and it has been debated and dissected for half a millennium, from the bizarre phenomena of her eyes following you around to her enigmatic grin. However, for some, the latter is especially puzzling because many believe that she didn't use to smile at all. Granted, people who were exposed to the painting at a young age may have become better at reading her face. Still, it seems strange that so many people could be confused by one of the most studied pieces of art ever created. Number 5. Hello Clarice. Many of us remember Dr. Hannibal Lecter saying, Hello Clarice, in that terrifying tone as he greets Agent Clarice Starling from his cell. After all, it's the quote that everyone in pop culture uses. 
Dr. Lecter never says this statement in The Silence of the Lambs, even if he comes close in the sequel. He welcomes her with good morning Clarice and even good evening Clarice, but never the notorious quote. So are people misquoting the movie because Hello works at all hours of the day and night? Is there anything more strange going on? Number 4, Pikachu's Tail Colour. The mascot of the huge multimedia Pokemon series is the charming yellow red-cheeked Pikachu. With its image splashed on nearly everything, Pokemon, you'd think its characteristics would be burned into the minds of generations of adults and children alike. However, some believe that Pikachu's tail, like its ears, used to be black on the end. Because of this misconception, there are numerous photos of Pikachu with a black tail available, which could be to blame. Or perhaps people recall something they enjoyed as a kid and are starting when they return as adults. Number 3, Looney Tunes. We're finally getting to the deep cuts. Looney Tunes is a Warner Bros cartoon series that dates back to the early days of animations. Its characters are iconic to the medium and are almost as widely recognised as those of competitors such as Disney. But as well known as Looney Tunes is, some people believe the spelling of its name has changed. Some individuals recall it as tunes as in cartoons, whereas the current spelling seems to be tunes as in music. The fact that its sister series is called Merry Melodies lends some credence to the musical spelling, and the fact that the words are homophones means that confusion is likely. Stranger things have happened, right? Number 2. Tinkerbell writing the Disney logo. Given how large Disney is, it's no surprise that many of us have misconceptions about its properties. Many Disney animated films begin with the Disney logo with its iconic castle and the name written in distinctive, loopy handwriting. Many fans though believe to recall Tinkerbell from Peter Pan appearing in such intros. Although Tinkerbell has appeared in several variations of this sequence, many of us recall her using her wand to spell out Disney, before dotting the eye with sparks. Despite numerous comparable variations, none of them completely capture the essence of what is described. Can we chalk this one up to magic? Number 1. Play it again Sam. Casablanca as one of cinema's titans boasts a slew of unforgettable phrases, from Here's looking at you, kid, to We'll always have Paris. However, one of its most famous lines is never delivered in the film. The sentence, play it again, Sam, an order to the pianist to play as time goes by, is frequently linked with Humphrey Bogart's character, Rick, even though he never speaks it. A couple of phrases come close, but the actual word does not appear in the film. It's possible that in the days before home video, people simply misremembered the line but you'd think a cinema fan like Woody Allen would know it, especially given he named a movie around a misquote. Should these processes that result in erroneous memories be regarded as flaws? Not quite. Current psychological theories investigate the possibility that our ability to extract details from past experiences to create theoretical notions is a survival mechanism. Using episodes from our past allows us to build hypothetical futures and anticipate those happenings, adds Brewer. It adapts us to new environments, as if you were living in a world without Jiffy. So guys, what movies do you know that have Mandela effects? What is one of the fun facts you'll never forget? Let us know in the comments. This concludes today's video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of new uploads. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.